In this video, I'll give a quick demonstration of our job cost estimator, which allows you to calculate very accurate ink cost estimates for your print jobs using the same setup that drives your printer without being connected to it. This is ideal for when you want to give a job cost indication away from the print shop. It's also useful for modeling changes in ink prices or print heads that differ on the volume of ink they use per drop size. Okay, let's get started. Here we have a very simple one page PDF I created intending to show different amounts of ink being used. Since the job cost estimator doesn't rip the PDFs, I've done that in advance. Let's have a look at that ripped output now. So here we have the TIFF files for that job. Notice the naming includes a page number and ink color. We'll see in a moment why that's important. Okay, so here's the job cost estimator. We can see on the right here how the TIFFs have been combined to show a preview that looks like the original PDF. Over on the left, we could hit analyze, but before we do that, let's confirm the cost for each ink. So here we can see all of the ink colors cost $50 per liter. Note how the names here need to match up with the names in the, in the file name. That's how it knows which inks are being used. Okay, so we've got four drop mirror example screening. Let's hit analyze and find out how much this will cost. All right, so what we've got here is yellow is obviously the one used the most because you can see it's got the longest bar there. All the way down to black is the least. Right, well, let's see the impact of changing the screening. So we were using four drop mirror. Now let's go to eight drop. Let's pay attention to the total cost there, 24 cents. Eight drop mirror example, analyze that one. It's now 64 cents for eight drop mirror example. If we go and load up a different file, let's try 600 by 600. And go again. Remember it was 64 cents before. Now $2.58. This is for 100 copies, by the way. Okay, so that's the basic functionality. It's calculated the ink cost based on uh, this PDF and uh, these cost settings. Well, now let's try and model some changes in ink costs. So let's pretend that cyan's gone up. $60. So 52 cents there. Analyze. 63 cents. So it is as simple as that. It is calculating the ink costs. Let's do something a bit more advanced. Let's check out a different print head. So we've got a budget print head here. So each drop size, it uses only 5 picoliters, 10, 15 instead of the standard and this can be useful for well let's let's uh, pretend that black's gone up it's gone up to a massive hundred dollars for black for some reason Ooh, I want to go back to that again so because it's gone up let's use the budget print print head and now if we calculate again the cost should be exactly the same There we go. Exactly the same because we're using half the amount of uh, ink, but the price has gone up. And uh, I think finally, why don't we check out another uh, file? Let's check out this one. So this is actually a two page document. So let's check out both pages. Uh, let's analyze that. $19.83 to do this one. That concludes the demo for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.